what's happening guys okay today kicks off my first video in the review series that you guys have asked me for um i have been bursting to show you this product i tweeted this and i put a little teaser out on facebook as well for the commodore 64 a visual compendium now oh my god back in the 80s when i first started playing video games spectrum and the commodore we had to put up with loading screens that looked a little bit like this. Fast forward to 2014, this beauty has arrived. I got my copy from funstop.co.uk, I'm going to talk more about that later on in the video, um, but all the links will be in the description, and this beast is an absolute wonder. This is a beautiful time capsule to my childhood and thousands and millions of people's as well, um, that goes through from 1983 all the way, I mean, there's, there's games still being developed for the Commodore 64 now. I'm going to show you this in a little bit more depth and talk about some of my highlights as well as some of the gates, some of the some of the lowlights of the Commodore 64. So without further ado guys, let's take a look at this beautiful piece of kit. Okay guys, so this is obviously the front cover and I think it's so cool, it's so sleek and so clean. The slip case, the protective case, does have a little bit of a 3D effect which you'll see later when the light hits some of these cool kind of shots you can just see the light reflection off the top there this really is a quality product bit bitmap books um the the guys that published this did a really fantastic job the finish is great it's remarkably light and easy just to pop in your bag if you kind of go anyway i've read this on the train a couple of times actually and again i love the how the light shimmers off the top and i just think that kind of reflects excuse the pun how good this book is um, so just inside the cover there we've got a little bit of um, a fold from the authors and the, the classic loading screen that I showed you earlier, the colours is so vibrant and so appealing. Uh, first game in is Jupiter Lander, released in 1982 and I wanted to show you guys this as the first um Kind of, you know the first game the, the the artwork is pretty consistent all the way through some of the games do have a nice double spread like jupiter lander and like ghostbusters as we see here um really really tasty stuff um commodore 64 i think i said in the intro the game started in 1983 it's actually 1982 and games are still being developed today and this book is great because it actually shows you some of the recent developments, um, the recently developed games. So again, some of the, the classic artwork there, guys. And again, speaking of artwork, you can see that there is some awesome, awesome, awesome artwork, which I'll show you something after this. Um, it's not just the graphics as we saw them, it is at the actual artwork from the, the, the authors there. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the Commodore 64 definitely was a console whereby you, you had to use your imagination because the graphics weren't great. Um, but I think the great thing about this book is it does bring your imagination to life. It's absolutely awesome. I really, really enjoyed reading it. Um, it's cool. Um, so again, I wanted to show you this. Because it's live, it's me going through it. Um, there's loads and loads of colour in the book. It's not just all kind of black, dull grey backgrounds. Uh, Kickstarter, as we can see here, some really kind of cool artwork. And each of the games um, illustrated in the book do have little bits about them. Um, as we can see, it goes, see here, ghosts and goblins. Uh, goblins, get my words out. Um, this is cool because you can see the level design. And this is a double spread, this page. Uh, for those of you guys that don't have the book, I don't want to show you too much because you need to buy it and see and feel it for yourselves. Um, Rambo, again, a classic brand, a classic brand. Um, I used to play this game quite a bit with my auntie. So again, it was it's quite a significant game for me. Uh, Rambo first, uh, Blood. So again, some of you guys may have personal favourites. Got Bubble Bobble here, which is another belter and again the artwork is absolutely awesome this is a, another kind of double spread and the book breaks things up nicely it's not just very you know it's not linear like here you've got code masters so you've got the four games it, you know it's not just one game per page or one game per double spread you do have 
like here, it's shown here, four games across um, each spread, so yeah. So there we go, some of the highlights, some of the beauties of the Commodore 64. Now if you've never played it guys, don't worry. Go to funstart.co.uk, grab yourself a copy of this, make yourself a cup of tea or coffee, kick back and read this, it's absolutely brilliant. It's packed full of nostalgia, there's plenty of recognisable faces on the front cover here, as we just discussed. Um, it's It was super fast delivery, I picked my copy up, a couple of days later it arrived, the packaging was fantastic and I got a leaflet for other offers as well, so boom, I love a good offer. Um, so yeah, so overall I'm extremely pleased with this. Um, as you can see guys, the size, it's quite, it's light. I thought it was going to be a big A4 hardback book, but it's not. So go and pick yourselves a copy up. Um, all the links to, to, to buying this book will be in the description, as well as my blog, Facebook, etc. I'll be back for another review soon. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments, but for now, take care.